Pro-Beijing candidates have won nearly every seat in Hong Kong's new Legislative Council. Hong Kong leader Carrie Lam is on her way to China today. They were the first polls since Beijing made significant changes, ensuring only so-called patriots could run for office. There was a record low turnout. Just 30 percent of eligible voters went to the polls. I'm joined now by Benedict Rogers, co-founder and chief executive of Hong Kong Watch. Thank you very much for being on the program. Um, what does this record low turnout tell us about the mood in Hong Kong? I think it tells us uh, very clearly that uh, Hong Kongers are, are not going to fall for the sham elections that took place yesterday, and I call them selections, because they were completely rigged uh, by Beijing. Not only did Beijing reduce the number of directly elected seats and increase the number of uh, Beijing appointed seats, but it, they also excluded completely the pro-democracy camp because candidates were required to take an oath of loyalty, not to the country as such, but effectively to the Chinese Communist Party, and obviously Democrats couldn't do that. So Beijing has talked about democracy with Hong Kong characteristics. What is this supposed to mean? What, do, what, do, what does it mean? What do they mean by that? Well, they often use the phrase, uh, they have used over the years the phrase uh, democracy with Chinese characteristics. They're now applying that to Hong Kong. And basically what it means is uh, no democracy at all. It's uh, uh, a charade. Uh, and, and in reality, it's Chinese Communist Party dictatorship. And what would you say, what would you say is coming next for Hong Kong, given the crackdown on protesters, on um, uh, democracy activists. It's very difficult for, many, for, for, for anybody really to be speaking out now. It is extremely difficult and dangerous for anyone in Hong Kong to speak out. Uh, most uh, activists are either in jail, uh, in exile, on trial, uh, or keeping their heads down. Uh, and so I think we're going to see... Uh, Further repression, there are other uh, bits of legislation that the government has talked about to tighten up even further. And I think Hong Kong will face a, a very increasingly dark uh, chapter in its history uh, before anything gets better in, in the future.